Well, after my last green light video, I'm sure many of you weren't expecting me to ever do another green light review. However, today I'm going to be taking a step back and looking at another one of their SD trucks. We're actually going clear back to Series 7 with this. And the truck we'll be looking at is this 2019 Mac Granite Cement Mixer. So here you can see how the truck looks in the box, and unlike those PennDOT tankers that I recently got from Series 12, I'm feeling more confident with this because as it is right now, I'm not seeing any issues with it. And also because this is from Series 7, I'm feeling that the quality of this was a little bit better than what we have now. But you can see here that I paid uh, $15 for this. I picked this up at the show that I was at earlier this month. And while I was a little reluctant to pay that price, uh, I figured I'd have more than that into this if I was to buy it offline and pay the shipping cost. But uh, going around to the back of the box here, you can see uh, what's all here. I'm not seeing a list of the other trucks which were available from this series. But I think with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get this out of the box and take a look at it. Okay, here's the truck on the turntable, and I can honestly say first impressions are good. The truck has a lot of little details on it, all which are put on correctly, although I have noticed a bit of an issue in regards to the paint. Uh, the first issue being just on the passenger side of the hood here, you can see some black specks. I have tried to brush these off with my finger, but they don't seem to want to move. Uh, maybe a damp cloth will fix that. But uh, going around to the side of the truck here, you can see we got some additional chutes on the side, as well as the chrome steps, uh, possibly some battery boxes and the chrome exhaust. The back of the truck here, we got the drum, which does rotate. Also got uh, the little details on the back here with the chute, the mud flaps with the steps, which I like the Mac uh, logos on those. Also got the ladder here leading up to the drum. Unfortunately, if you look closely, you can see some little specks and imperfections in the drum. Uh, it's a bit disappointing there. This I think is a water tank. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Going around to the cab here, you can see we got the chrome fuel tanks, side view mirrors, visor, the horns up top. And I like how they put the bulldog emblems on the mirrors here. And we also got the one on the hood as well. The front of the truck looks really nice with the chrome grill and bumper and what have you. And I think I already mentioned that we got the battery boxes, steps, exhaust on this side. Uh, wheels and tires, the chrome rims look really nice and uh, the wheels and tires are also put on correctly. They're not all over the place. Uh, overall, I'm really impressed with the build quality of this truck aside from you know the paint issues, which another one I'll mention here is just on the back of the driver's side of the cab. There's a black splotch of paint right there, uh, which you know that again goes back to uh, lack of uh, quality control, but overall I can say that uh, this truck isn't as bad as some of the other green light products that I've seen. And my favorite part about this has to be the colors used. I like the yellow cabin chassis with the addition of the white drum. Uh, just seems to work. And I've wanted a cement truck for my 164 scale collection for a while now, but unfortunately up until this point, the only one that was available to the 164 scale market was an older international truck made by Ertl which uh, some of the prices those pull on eBay these days are a bit ridiculous. And if you don't want an international truck, if you just want to uh, drop the cement mixer bed on something else, you know, you can do that. But I personally can't justify paying a ridiculous price for one of those trucks just to tear it down for a build. So it is nice to, you know, have this option available now. Now for comparison, I got some other granite trucks from my collection to put this one up alongside. And these three are made by the company First Gear. Now First Gear is the only other manufacturer I've got any granite trucks from. And these are just a few of the ones that I have in my collection. But one thing you'll notice with the green light truck is that up against these First Gear ones, it's not as well detailed. And that's because, as I've said before, the green light trucks are made to a price. The amount of detail on them, the price has to reflect that. These first gear ones, yes, they look better because they got better looking horns. They actually got the Mac on the horns. They got cab lights, a hood emblem that's more in scale. The front end looks good. 
details like around the steps and the fuel tanks look better they even got separately fitted grab handles and such the cab interior is even better detailed with uh, separately painted parts and what have you and these trucks even have features like opening doors and opening hoods with a detailed engine inside and even working steering but the thing is uh, these two dump trucks here I purchased them I think back in 2012 and I had about 40 to 50 dollars in these which probably wasn't bad back then but I saw some of these just normal dump trucks at a show I went to earlier this month and the price on those was like 60 bucks. I mean, <laughs> you know how much I paid for the cement mixer at 15. That's a substantial price difference. And I think in recent years, Greenlight has even done a dump truck variant of the Granite. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's one of those deals. It's like, which would you rather pay, $15 or $60? Uh, I, I don't think there's any comparison there, really. But as I've found out, though, Greenlight stuff is kind of hit and miss when it comes to quality and what have you but you know maybe the price reflects that as well but um, I wish I had one of the Ertl cement mixers to put up next to this because I would like to see how the uh, cement drum and body uh, compare but unfortunately you know I just don't have one of those trucks in my collection for another comparison I thought it'd be fun just to get some other Macs from my collection to show you all and you still haven't seen everything but we've got another first gear Mac here this one is an R model and it came in a combo set with two pup dump trailers I've also got this Penjoy Mac that I customized I tore it down and repainted it this hot pink and I also added like DCP wheels and other additional parts to make it stand out more and it even has a trailer to go with it also got this Mac cab over by TSR. Uh, this has the feature where the cab will actually tilt forward. Uh, picked that up at a die cast show a couple years ago now. Also got Mac from Cars. This is one of, I think, a half a dozen of these that I got in different variations. I believe this was a super liner. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Also got this custom, I think it's an R model wrecker. And this is another custom I did. I uh, used a DCP frame with an Ertl cab and an M2 Machines tow bed. Also got my replica of the local fire department's tanker, another custom I'm really proud of. Uh, DCP frame, first gear cab, and an Ertl fire truck body. Really sharp looking stunner. I uh, accidentally knocked that light off earlier. Gonna have to fix that. Also got this older Mack dump truck. Really like the look of this. Really have a lot of time for these older trucks and it kind of reminds me of the dump truck my neighbor has although he runs a GMC General. But also got these three granites here. Uh, these are all customs that I did. They all started out as dump trucks and this one here I stretched the frame put a wrecker bed on it. This one here has a flatbed from a cheap Chinese uh, pullback flatbed truck which I don't know if you can really justify going out and spending like $60 on a truck just to put a $2 flatbed on it, but I mean, <laughs> hey, that's what I've done here. Also got my replica of Old Dominion's garbage truck. Uh, I featured this in a custom video few, I think it was last year actually, but uh, another case where I used a cheap Chinese wind-up garbage truck, pulled the bed off of that and uh, put it on this uh, granite here. But, uh, yeah, one of those deals, I've got quite a few Bulldogs in my fleet. Now, I'm sure there's quite a few of you waiting to hear my final thoughts on this truck and as to whether or not I'd recommend getting it. And, personally, I'm going to put it this way. I like what I have here. I'm really impressed with this. And the few issues that it does have, I'm not really that particularly concerned about. However, as I've said before, when it comes to the quality of Greenlight products, it's really hit or miss. Sometimes you get something that's good, other times you get something that's acceptable, and then there's times like my last purchase where you get something that's not even worth the money you paid for it. But I had a viewer that commented to me and gave me some advice, which I want to pass that advice on to you guys. And that is, if you're going to buy a Greenlight product, try to purchase it either in store or at a show. Because when you do it that way, you've got the opportunity to look over the model in the packaging for any issues and then make the decision whether you want to take it or leave it. Whereas online, if you purchase something and you get it in the mail and you find it has problems, you're kind of stuck with it there. I mean, yes, the option is to return it, but then you know, you're paying a return cost, shipping costs, all that. But, I mean, again, I looking at this truck here, I like what I have, but I may have got lucky in this case. So, uh, if you guys want to take a chance and get one of these for yourself, 
you know, they're still out there. They're still available online for purchase. But, you know, uh, you know, buy at your own risk, I guess. But like I said, the one I have here, I'm okay with. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on this truck in the comments down below. Also free to tell me your thoughts on Greenlight. And I will see you guys in my next diecast video. So until then, I'll catch you guys later.